To start our angel, we're gonna need our wooden bead and our 40 inch strand of butcher's twine. So thread your wooden bead and place it almost in the center of our strand. You want your left side to be ever so slightly shorter than the right. Next, form a loop, making sure your bead is in the middle. And we're gonna tie a variation of a barrel knot. To do this, you need to wrap your longer right hand strand around the top of your loop several times. I wrapped mine around about 15 times, but it's gonna vary depending on how large your wooden bead is. Now I must admit, this is the trickiest part of this entire project, so once you get past this, it's smooth sailing. And if you need a little bit of help with your barrel knots, no worries, I have a tutorial, I'll link it in the cards above. Once you have the adequate length, you're gonna grab the right hand side and you're gonna pull your cord taut. Once it's secure, you should have what looks like a little collar around your bead. Now I find what's easiest for me is to tack it on to my board here. I'll leave the link in the description box where you can find a macrame board just like the one I'm using. Next, working with your 24 inch strand of butcher's twine, we're gonna tie on a reverse lark's head knot. Now, the reason why we're using a reverse lark's head knot is because when you attach it onto your cord at the top here, it kind of blends in and looks like a row of double half hitches. So we're gonna carry on and I'm going to attach five butcher's twine onto our left side here. And as always, if I'm going too fast for you, feel free to adjust the speed of this video by tapping the three dots on the top right corner. Alrighty, repeat on the opposite side. Working with our left side again, I'm going to pin it on our board at a diagonal. Now taking our original cord, I'm gonna use that as our filler cord now and tie a row of double half hitch knots. Just make sure that your double half hitch knots are really snug up tight against our reverse lark's head knots. We don't want any gaps in between. Okay, so once you've finished your first row, we're gonna grab the next cord and we're gonna use that as our filler cord and tie another row of double half hitch knots. When you reach the end of your second row, make sure you tie another double half hitch knot using your previous row's filler cord. That's very important for the shape of our wings. Make sure you don't forget your last cord. All right, so we're gonna need five rows and then we're gonna repeat the same thing on the opposite side. Now that both of your wings are complete, they're a little loose. So to secure them, we're gonna take the last two filler cords and we're gonna tie them together using another double half hitch knot. Oh, and it doesn't matter which side you use as your filler cord, we just need one more knot to tie them together. Okay, so now trim your cords. I left about a half an inch and comb it out so it has a little fringe. Next, grab your red cord. I'm using three just to make my dress fuller. And we're gonna slide it in through that little collar we did at the beginning. For my red cord, I'm actually using three strand cotton, but I prefer the look of single strand, which is what you see as the blue angel pinned at the top. Three strand ends up having a little bit of a wavy look, whereas single strand is nice and smooth. Anywho, to attach our red cord, we're gonna tie a regular lark's head knot onto our barrel knot. All right, so once it's on there, we're gonna comb out the fringe. As I'm combing, you're gonna see that it gets kind of a wavy, crimped look when you're using three strand cotton. Next, we're gonna trim the fringe and you can leave yours as long or as short as you like. I like mine a little bit on the short side and I like to round out the corners of her dress. To make the hanger for this ornament, I'm using this red metallic cord I found at my local dollar store. 
and we're just gonna slide it right through our wooden bead. Now, if you can't find the metallic cord, you can go ahead and use the butcher's twine. It works just the same, but I found this cord and I thought it was perfect for this project. So once our cord was through, I tied an overhand knot and trimmed the end. Before you go, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.